You're listening to Taiwan Grooves. Let's explore the local music scene. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have another talented band called Risa Club. Their music is something I can really get down with. They are very skilled at blending hip hop elements, neo soul, jazz, R and B, and my favorite, funk, in their works. They are one of the few rap with live band groups active in Taiwan. They have recently released their debut and new album, so let's hear a track from that to get a better understanding about the band, and then we get straight into the interview. So please enjoy the following song called Masterpiece by Risa Club from their latest album called Soft Opening. When she walking on by, no shoes. When she smiles a lot, <laughs> 不住除了你，我也坦然等待。无助更有的全被你击败。She didn't say that makes you think. Not a time you guys even had a drink. 总在那听过她的坏名声，却不懂从何而来。Had the pleasure to interview four band members, so please give a warm welcome to the four members. Hello, my name is Bo Zhi. I play bass. Hi, this is Teresa. I'm the singer and the band leader. Hi, I'm Su Tang. I play guitar. Hello, everyone. I'm Leroy. I'm drummer in the Risa Club. The Risa、yeah. Club. That's right. That's the <laughs> band we are interviewing today. Thank you guys for coming. Really, I'm hey, thank very you, happy you could make it. Thank you, Phil. I have heard your performance in Veggie Fest. Yeah. And as I mentioned before, it was quite rainy, yeah. And we were about to give up because we were just outside eating dinner. Didn't know whether to go back or not, but then the rain stopped, and we just came back. And、uh, it was a great decision because、yeah. uh, <laughs> I found uh, one of my very subjectively favorite Taiwanese bands. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> so I, kind. I mean this because、yeah. you know the stuff I listen to is more、uh, quicker, more funky, like、okay. yeah, a little groovy. You know, something、yeah. that makes your feet tap and dance, a little 
I'm more focused on groove music. Right. A couple right. of notes and just, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I'm very happy you guys do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honestly very happy. All right. I would like to ask about the band's origin. Mm -hmm. So you told me just before the interview that there was another Risa Club original band. Yeah, kind of band, but yeah, it's more it's like reconstructed. Yeah, but it's not actually a band. It's just um two guys group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they are both singers, and that was before Risa Club formed. There's no musicians before back then, and um, it started from a class that, as I mentioned. And we, that's why, um, that's also how Skyline 2019 formed. And that's when um, a class that we have to produce a song and put it online, put it on all the platforms and have to get a show at the end of the, the semester. And like after a year, we found that uh, Skyline 2019 was bloomed up. Mm. Like there's yeah, like 60K. We, they have. They have no idea no, why, or why it's blow up. Yeah, we don't know. We don't actually know why. <laughs> and we, we didn't expect that. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. And back then, I was the manager of that this two guys group, and so I was thinking that maybe we should um, start a band. But um, that's also when um, shouted the another singer mm. due to the pan pandemic. He's back to China and never <laughs> never gonna come back oh. anymore. So <laughs> yeah, and so. Um, I was thinking that oh, I love to sing and and I should be in a band as well. Mm -hmm. And so I sing a part of it and also manage the band. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure he's still proudly watching and listening what has become out of the he, he little is. scene. Yeah, you know, we still we still have the connection. That's like, good. Like every month or something. That's yeah. good. I'm 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 curious about your music though. How did you guys decide what kind of music are you going to produce? Because your band has seven members, right? Yeah. You know, because in my head, I'm thinking like, is everybody on board with the music? Like, did you have the same vision of the music we wanted to make? Or did one person say we're playing funky rap style and everybody needs to agree? How how does that work with seven members? Um, okay, so the original idea of the band, I was actually inspired by uh, Ezra Collective and also um, uh, Orange Factor mm -hmm. and also like something like that, the funky um, hip hop style. And I was thinking that there's not much people in Taiwan doing the same thing, like combine the the rap, the hip hop, the mm -hmm. funk, the, and the band. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking that it, it will be something new to in Taiwan to do band with with hip hop. Yeah. Very good. So and also with the vision of this, I think everyone have like a similar vision, but not the, the exactly same picture. Yeah. But that's also why how our music become so unique because everyone have their different mm -hmm. different style of the the imagination of the music so they put in their different style different lines what what they want to say in the music so that's why not we are not that um hip hop and not that funk not that soul yeah that's yeah, beautiful right? yeah. cuz everybody puts some percentage and it just becomes very unique and yeah. as you said diverse yeah it is so which year did the band come to exist in uh <laughs> <laughs> it's very, it's hard to say. It's around 20, 20, 20, 2021. 2021. 2021. 2021. 2021. Mm. Could we put uh, this part kind of <laughs> intro <laughs> for this program? <laughs> okay, so it's 2020. Sorry. <laughs> 2020 it's a long time. Not, not official. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah sure. <laughs> 2020. We put A as 2020. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, final answer. Final answer. <laughs> Is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> Do -do -do. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> but uh, wait, but we we cannot leave you guys out of it because you're still part of the band. So yeah, right. When, yeah. when everybody was in. So you said there's trumpet is a se session player. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the original six members, do you remember the, the time or the memory when you first got together and started, let's say, practicing? Um, with him in was 2021, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have a, a former drummer, but um, he have his different life decisions. So we brought Leroy in mm. around 2022. Yeah, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, someday yeah. I meet Teresa in a nightclub. Jazz club. Oh, jazz, jazz club, club jazz, jazz jam club. session club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which one? Sappho. 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 Okay, yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's also where I met the trumpet player. Oh. Yeah. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you guys, if you want to meet mm-hmm. some musician, please <laughs> <It's> <laughs> go, please go, go to jam session. Yes, go yeah. to jam session. All right. So, twenty twenty to twenty twenty one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Corona <laughs> period. Yeah. 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 yeah right. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's it's not important to get the detail like very precisely. It's to like have you reminisce about the time and have like discussion. It, mm-hmm. It's still still good to know, still fun. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think since well, it's twenty twenty four, right? So in those two years, you you were existing, and since you got new members, yeah. Do you think your sound has changed a lot, of, or evolved, or took a, some turn? Um, involved. I think we all involved in some ways. Because um, that's when um, our producer Dio came in, and he told us that like we have to that some part we have to be tighter, and like our, everyone's skill have improved in these two years. So mm-hmm. I think, and not just um, personal skills just improved. We also our band have bound it like more tight in mm-hmm. these two years. So yeah, I think. Everyone have yeah, and maybe improve in relationship. Relationship? <laughs> it, it, it's a relationship in the band because the first Korean Quinto Jazz Club or the project, uh, the Howard Graduate Project. Howard uh, is our synthesizer player. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, the kind of feeling was in the band. Yeah. Yeah, it's just bunch of bunch of musicians, music jamming. college students <laughs> play together. <laughs> in the, in the, yeah, really. Everyone play play their. Own. They play their part and. Uh-huh. Because uh, the synthesizer, that that was his project, but he was too shy to say inter- to command. Yeah, com- yes, it's too. She's too shy to command everyone's maybe do this or so that. Right, so, right, right. So there, there was a, a weird atmosphere. Yeah, there. it just let everyone just play a part, and after the song, people watch you and watch me, and they they don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's normal, you know, just like. Just like new environment, like we have yeah. three new new colleagues, yeah. And when you come and you already have some suggestions, but you're new there, so you don't want to be like, "Hey, maybe we should yeah, change right. this, we should change this." So Trying to be it a takes nice time, guy yeah. yeah. But now all tight, all good. Yeah, all, all, tight. all good. <laughs> all good. <laughs> good. All good. We can make it more. Yeah. 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 Because I had a um, another band who was here was um, Wen Ti Zhong Bu. Ah, yeah. Uh-huh. They've been in the mm-hmm. band for eight years, and th- that's a long time. And they said a very beautiful thing: like it's not that they were a band, but they were they become a family after eight years. Because you're with mm-hmm. these people yeah. most of your like waking time. Like you spend so many things together, and the drummer was about to or already has a baby now, and uh, you know they were like, yeah, it's it's now our baby. Like you know, it's yeah, part yeah, of the yeah, band. Right. That is yeah, right. so beautiful. Wow. It was very nice. So. Um, I, I I can see what you're saying, and I I'm pretty sure it's just gonna gonna get better and better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But see, wow, six people that that's amazing. So it's just seven people. Seven. So trumpet counts. No, no trumpet not count, trumpet. and still has seven. So still has seven. <laughs> we got two uh, singers. All right, all right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one, two. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> My question is, and there's no synth player and keyboard now in yeah. this room. Yeah. But I really wanted to ask them, like, why two? Why two of them? Oh, I think uh, the idea was wasn't a two keyboard player in the band. The, the idea was just I'm not speaking for Howard. <laughs> I think the original idea just uh, the sound of of his is his kind of music is just there. There have to be some part that wasn't designed for live performance. Oh. The idea wasn't live performance. They just he just doing the arrange he like. Mm-hmm. And then turn out there has to be two keyboard player to play. You well, know? okay. Yeah, actually, Howard, the the, the synthesizer player, he was the original Risa Club's drummer player. <laughs> <laughs> so it's getting complicated. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take notes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and after that, he 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 told me that he wasn't really into drum playing in life, and he's more like doing the like Kevin uh, like Su Tang said. Um, he was more doing the project, the the everything, the backstage, mm-hmm. and but um, when we started to ha- need to do some live performance without having program played, so um, and also he loves scenes like every technical sound mm-hmm. and everything. So he's thinking that that uh, maybe he could be a scenes player. Yeah. Okay, good. That's, you know, I'm just curious <laughs> because suddenly you see on on the stage two. Two keyboard. keyboards <laughs> facing each other. I'm like, oh, this is gonna get heated. Like they're gonna <laughs> have a battle. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I understand more. So, 
you have released an album in 2023? No, actually this year. Um, oh, 2024? Yeah. That's okay, okay, okay. Last month. Last month? Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but it, the whole album is on Spotify right now? Right now. Including yeah, Skyline 2019? Yeah, it is. Yes. Okay. How, how, how does it feel, your first album? Actually, I, I feel nothing. You feel nothing? <laughs> I feel nothing. I really I'm feel more nothing. excited than you are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> good. <laughs> That's good. Bozi, <laughs> Bozi. Mm. <laughs> Maybe because there, uh, we it's we been too long. Uh, first, it's been too long, and second, we haven't on the stage and seen lots of crowds like our songs. There, there wasn't big enough show to make mm-hmm. me feel like oh, there there's a lot of people listen to our music and mm-hmm. they like this. I haven't seen that. Okay, so okay. I didn't feel that way. Mm. I I have uh, something on Spotify to tell people what I did in last two three or two years. Yeah, yeah. I, so I was you need music the because there uh. there wasn't an, an any not like a f- okay. full album. Well, I mean, no, I get it. You kind of need the you know the 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 people's interaction. You see that the people are enjoying yeah. your music. It's not just about numbers for you. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, right. You need yeah, the right. energy of people. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm not sure. Today is relax time now. I think mm-hmm. um, because the important things mm. will be the. N- Next month, the next show. Oh, our album show, release show. Your album release show. Yeah. So there's gonna be dedicated for your album. Uh, album releasing um the the song in our album and some songs that we loved, and also there will be some guest in our show. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> secret guest. Yeah, welcome to our Where? show. Where? It will be at Yuchen Xi Yuan, Recording studio oh wow that's yeah. in songshan yeah in songshan yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. great <laughs> that's uh, also where we record our the the, the full album yeah. there nice yeah so it's yeah. the silence before storm <laughs> <laughs> no, i feel, I nice. feel. Okay. okay but, but uh, what, what do you think about like re- the album release mm, i can make a lot of money right now Re- you maybe can, maybe we <laughs> can okay okay, okay. <laughs> but i don't know please donate us <laughs> 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 nice. Good. How about you, Leroy? Uh, I'm so happy finally we. Did. It's like uh, their children mm-hmm. and uh, uh, they grow up. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. yeah, we just used two or three years. Mm-hmm. So yeah, can we can finally do a great music together? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I'm very happy. Yes. Yeah. At at that day, we finally release album on our platform. Yeah. I can't sleep whole night. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Celebrate. <Yeah. finally. laughs> it's like a, a huge assignment of school just get done, you yeah. know. Yeah. Burden yeah. of your shoulder. It's yeah, right. The album actually is a difficult birth. <laughs> Pandemic. And yeah. yeah. Been pregnant for uh, three years. <laughs> yeah, so there's been obstacles. It's not like you didn't, you know, you, you didn't do anything. It's yeah. There's been obstacles. And plus, for our listeners, you know, there's a... The song is called one of the songs from album is called Masterpiece. Yeah, right. So you cannot release a masterpiece in two months. It's just it doesn't work that way. You right. Know, you need yeah. you need yeah, to let it time. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It needs to, yeah. And we actually it's kind of end up better this way because we wouldn't let grade back then. So if we record then mm. it it won't be that good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right. So everybody's satisfied with what you have produced. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So now it's resting time and just practicing the same songs. There's no no new work in process. Well, or we always. Actually, we have to. We have to. <laughs> we do. <laughs> we <have laughs> and also for our show, we're going to do like mm-hmm. one or yeah, two new, new song. songs. Two more new songs. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so there's no resting time. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. How to be productive by recycling? I don't nice. know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't know? <laughs> how to be productive? You should know. <laughs> yeah, I should know, but I don't know. <laughs> All right. When you make your music, do you have any um, hope, expectations, any message that you want to send out to the listeners? Do you have any clear vision of like, okay, today we perform and we want the listeners to feel dot dot dot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do. Um, also, like like what I mentioned, we would like to share the energy, the vibe, the the groovy vibe. That what I think is I shouldn't say lack of in Taiwan, but um, we like to bring more yes, diversity, could be more yes, the music style to Taiwan, 
and also like what we mentioned in our lyrics. Uh, what we're talking about is more what we feel, what we expect to nowadays. How we live, we we like to live. How we like, like all you like, like mm. urban jungle.、Mm. Um, also, we are not doing what the most of the Taiwanese listener would like or would listen, but um, um, we are still doing what we like, and we hope that we can bring what we love to people, and someday people will started to to listen and to share it, and there will be more listeners、um, getting into our vibe or something. That brings me to my next question. If you if you mentioned that this style might not be the most popular in Taiwan, yeah, but I see that your music is kind of. You write half in English, half in Chinese. Right. Yeah. Right. So you are trying to reach broader audience as well, right? Yeah. Right. That's right. what what I vision.、Mm-hmm. Like we would like to bring bring our songs more like out of Taiwan,、mm-hmm. but also but also bring something into Taiwan and also out of Taiwan.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's that's most of the artists who are here. There, if they write both, it's it's nice to have you know like you reach. Whoever wants to listen to Chinese version、mm-hmm. in Taiwan,、mm-hmm. whoever wants to listen from abroad, it's it's yeah. nice. Yeah, right. <laughs> do you think that after you release your album on platforms, do you think it's doing okay or well in Taiwan or beyond expectation, below expectations? Um, I think precisely on our expectation, because、mm-hmm. we're not like that blow up like all the listeners like we have immediately have. Um, one million views or something,、mm-hmm. but、um, we can say we've received a lot of musicians、oh. or our、um, mm-hmm. uh, professionals telling us that they really like our songs, and that's also what I expect and what I when I started Risa Club I would like to do this way, that the musicians that the professionals love first. So um, um, that's our first goal, and second, we can share it like how to make it more popular. It's our second goal.、Mm. Yeah. Good. I hope I, I hope I can help. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You do. You actually Because, do.、Uh, yeah. You know, mus- musicians. I'm pretty sure they will appreciate because there's a lot of quality、mm-hmm. music in there. Yeah. It's、right. not just you know four or three simple chords and、yeah. it's all about vocal melody. No, there's there's actually parts of music that you need to. Think about. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. So that that's great. But um, I mean, it's been it's been only a month, right? Yeah. Yeah.、A、so th- th- just just a <laughs> couple of shares. You know, t- everybody speaks. They find you somehow, and it's it's, it's just gonna grow. Yeah. So, I hope so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's、yeah. just a matter of time. I'm 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 sure about this.、Yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, fresh as bent. Yeah. All、so、right. Fresh. No.、Yeah. <laughs> And this concludes our first part of the two-part interview with Brisa Club. Tune into next week's Taiwan Grooves to hear the second part and get to know the band even more. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm your host Phil Eskoski, and before we head off, I would like to leave you with one more single called "Free Me, Baby."
flash some lights, gotta be a dream. We be so much more, you're an enemy. We were born to be. Now let me take some time just so you know. Wise man once said, gotta take it slow. Them lights, late night, two drinks with some movie to chill. Spoil heart with a couple of meals. Okay, I lie when I see my words. I really try not to be the worst, but please gotta give me one more chance. Just another night with one more dance. Okay, I lie when I see my words. I really try not to be the worst, but please gotta give me one more chance. Just another night with one more dance.